Hello, this screencast is to show you how to complete the homework for the Colonial Immigration Notes. And here's a post on Classroom. It says it, it is called Colonial Immigration Notes and it is due Monday, 923. There are two parts to it. One, you're completing notes after reading 3.2 in your notebook. The other, you are doing digitally. You're reading the online textbook, completing 3.3, 3.6, and 3.9. That is a reading. And then you're finishing notes on a Google Doc below. This section is how to sign up for your online textbook. You already have, so really this link is all you need. It will take you to the online textbook. Here's the Google Doc for the second part of the homework. Here's an outline for setting up the notes. So, for starters, I'm going to jump on to... I'm going to take a look at the first part of the homework, which says, first, complete the notes for section 3.2 in your notebook. The first thing you might want to do is actually set up the notes page. And most of you completed A, B, and C in class. Some of you completed D and E in class. So people are in different places. Um, but this is how to set up the outline in your notebook. And one distinct characteristic here is, is that I've helped you out with the colonies, things that you should be looking for. So for letter E, characteristics of New England, Middle and Southern colonies, New England, what are the names of some of the colonies? Maybe two or three of them. Economics is how they made money and then why people came. For the Middle and Southern colonies, the, di the difference is that what is a social feature of these colonial regions that stands out from the others? So this is the outline you'll put in your notebooks to finish up um, the notes on 3.2. Now, for getting the information to fill into this, I'm going to go to the online textbook. And once I get there, I'm going to go to Chapter 3. And then I am going to go to 3.2. And 3.2 is on New England, Middle, and Southern Colonies. And I'll show you where you get the information for your notes. So, reasons for Britain to, to have colonies. That's these first three paragraphs. It's going to give you three or four reasons why Great Britain wanted to have colonies. Characteristics of New England Middle and Southern colonies? That's right here. The New England colonies, the Middle colonies, the Southern colonies. And this section here talks about the different types of government. Some of the colonies had governments where they governed themselves. Other colonies had to have the king would appoint officials to help form laws, so they were closely tied to Great Britain. If you need this document read to you, you can click this play button and it will read it aloud to you. So when all is said and done in your notebooks, you will have these notes completed. For the second part of the homework, it's use the online textbook to read 3.3, 3.6, and 3.9, and then take notes on the Google Doc. So I'm going to select this Google Doc, and it also gives you the directions again. It says directions for part one. You're going to read and take notes. Read sections 3.3, 3.6, and 3.9 in the online textbook. This is a link to the online textbook. Chapter 3 is called The English Colonies in North America. And use the notes to answer the questions along the top row of the graphic organizer. Well, in order to get that done, I'm going to go back to the textbook. I'm going to go to 3.3 first, which is Massachusetts, a New England colony. Going back to my notes, New England colony, 3.3, that's Massachusetts. So I put Massachusetts in. If I read this, I'm going to see that they could practice their religion freely after reading it. So I know reason for founding is to practice religion freely or freedom of religion. Okay. Reading this further, I'm going to see that the charter said that the, Ma um, the Massachusetts colonists could govern themselves, so it was self-governing, but the Puritans were pleased with the charter because they wanted to build a community governed by the rules of the Bible. So when I go to government, it was self-governing, but the leadership and laws were tied to 
the Bible. For economy and industry, there's not much in the reading itself on that, but if I read economy, occupations, crop and livestock farming, lumbering, shops, shipping, I can go here and see that farms, crops, shipping were ways to make money. Tie those together. And then maybe put lumbering as well. So lumbering, farms and crops and shipping. And the role of religion, they were Puritan and we already read that the um, that religion was a big factor in the laws. So religion was a large factor of society. Now, you're going to do the same thing for completing the middle and the southern colonies. Once you're done with that, and just to make that clear, then you're reading 3.6, which is New York, the middle colony, and you're reading 3.9, which is Virginia, a southern colony. And after reading those, you will be able to complete these portions of the table. Once you're totally done with this top table, then you go to part two. Use the notes above to organize the ideas according to the three factors. Remember to change the color so it matches. So now I'm going to take this information and I'm going to place it on this table by copy pasting. So reasons for founding, practice religion freely. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to look here and go, is that a social factor, political factor, economic factor? Well, it has to do with grouping people. So it's a social factor. Um, Self-governing, but leadership was tied to the Bible. Could be a social because, you know, tied to the Bible, and that's how we group people religiously, but really it's a political factor because it's how they governed. Lumbering, farms, crops, shipping, these are all economic factors. It's how people made money. And then religion played a large role in society. That's how people are grouped. That becomes a social factor. So now you can see how you would complete this table down below using the information here. All right. Thank you for listening, and that should help you complete your homework for the Colonial Immigration Notes.